Let's see if I remember how to do this. Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Revell P40B Tiger Shark build. Took myself a little uh, vacation from the YouTube videos for a few weeks. Well, about three weeks, I bet. It's been a while. But, I'm glad to be back and uh, getting back to building some models and playing my games and whatnot. Um, in this video, the last video, if I remember correctly, we unmasked all this stuff and I decided that this was just too clean looking. I want to do a little um, dirtying up on the this part of the fuselage on the, the uh, brighter part. So in this video, I did get all this stuff out because I was thinking of putting the gun sights on and everything before the windows. But I think, I just noticed I need to touch up my my uh, pilot's uh, headrest part there for the seat. So, but anyways, let's, uh, I got some of the pastel, the dark brown, and we'll just get a little bit on here. We don't want to get too much around the edges because that's where our glue is going to be. Just want to kind of... go away from it. Just kind of, there we go, put a little streak there, like some dust and dirt got behind it. That's going to be quick and easy, I think. I don't think that looks too bad. It looks a little dirtier than it did. Of course the glass is going to be, part of the canopy is going to be over that. So I think uh, we don't want to get too crazy with it. We'll call that good enough for that. Move this off to the side here. And then we need the light tan I believe is what I used for the headrest for the seat last time. Or is it the dark tan? I think it was a dark tan. Of course, the paint's been sitting for a while. I should have shaken everything before I started the video. That's how I'm not used to doing this I, anymore. Yeah, it's looking like that's probably the right one. running into everything. I don't know. Is this it? What color did I paint the pilot's uniform? That must have been an olive drab. Anyways. I'll see what it dries like, and if it doesn't match what I did previously, I'll have to find the right color. Yeah, that looks like it, though. Let's find a really small fine brush for some for the detail work here. Those are about the same. Actually, this one I like. Oh, they're about the same. We'll go ahead and use this one. Let's get these pastels out of the way. And I already sanded that where I did the filler because there was a little space there. Oh, wow. Yeah, paint dried on there a little bit. Took a couple weeks off from doing a bunch of this kind of stuff to get some yard work done. I think 
I'll get a tooth. Yeah, let's get a toothpick here and do some mixing. Shook it up, but I'm pretty sure these testers paints are about done. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Pretty sludgy. But they're older paints. It's time to. Probably time to retire them. I do like the Vallejo. Yeah, that's a mess there. use these I think it's going to do the job that I want but let me check something else out here flat dark tan what's this one it just says dark tan I think we'll uh Put that off to the side there. So we get a the acrylic. I think is the one. It's the enamels that are not good anymore. If I remember right. It's got some crusties in it too, but that looks way better. So. If you were wondering, I still don't edit my videos. And <laughs> I'm not very prepared. Try not to get my pilot. that and then we need to get the top of it. This is where I'm going to make a mess if I'm going to. Time to get serious and the glasses are coming off. shaky but I think, I think that'll do And I'm going to do the multi-piece canopy so that it's going to be open a little bit. If anybody forgot, this is going to be a diorama with the Willys Jeep. And it's
it's going to be like the Jeep driver just dropped the pilot off and we're getting ready for takeoff. So how are we doing on time? Ten minutes? Well, let's go ahead and glue the, the sights on because I want to, the little round part here, the crosshairs is supposed to be flat black and I believe the little tip of that ball there on that one's supposed to be flat black. The fun part's going to be when I cut it off the the tree here, am I going to send it flying across the room? Oh, there it is. I was like, yes I did. way and we're gonna do the round one first let's check the fitment make sure that we're gonna boy that's really tiny I might end up losing this get on my finger there looks like I need to up this hole a little bit. Let's check the, the photo. Oh, check the photo. And make sure I don't put the wrong one in the wrong spot. Yep, the wrong part goes toward the. Figured it did, but I have been gone a while. And this will uh, help our glue bond a little better. Of that paint. There we go. Get my thin set out here. Let's not do it over the plane. too much which if I can get it glued in why don't we do this let's switch to the super glue let's get it into place and I'll probably have to fill the hole in with a little bit of paint once it's all dry to stick to my finger. set up
straight. That looks good. Except for forward a little bit. It's yeah, if you're building this model, don't get too crazy opening that hole up if it doesn't quite fit because you're gonna end up in the same boat as I am. bit more forward. Should almost let it set up like that. Actually, it looks pretty good. Set it down and see what it looks. Yeah, that looks actually really good. Yeah, I can fill that hole in with a little bit of olive drab. No worries. There we go. See if it. You can see something here. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Now, make sure we don't bust that off when we're working with the rest of it. So, will you stick to my finger long enough? How's this one go? Actually, I'm not gonna, not even gonna bother trying to open that up. We're just going to put some glue in and stick it in and There we go. Should have chosen an easier video to do than... Oh yeah, that's not so bad. There we are. Make sure that's straight. Well, I really like that. Let's let that set up a bit. Yeah, I think we got it. There, we'll turn it this way. So you can actually see it. And then once it sets up, well, let's see if we got his right eye <laughs> staring at the sight. Perfect. Okay, well, we'll call that a video. It's a good start. And we'll let that all dry up. And in the next video, I'll probably be probably be putting the two tank halves together and weathering the tank a little bit. And then we'll get that on the plane. And then the last thing for the plane would be the canopy. We're, we're going to save that part for last. I'd like to thank everyone for watching and... Uh, See you guys next, whoa, see you guys next time.